Get motivated with Mr. Smiles, Vinny Chopra. He is also known as Mr. Enthusiasm. He will share and challenge you each week on great topics, on how to get excited, how to really make things happen in your business, and change your life for the better. Here is Vinny with this week's Motivation Inspiration. Hi, guys. Welcome to your weekly Motivation Power Talk with Mr. Smiles, also known as Vinny Chopra. I like to call him Mr. Smiles because he's always so <laughs> Hi, Vinny. How are you today? Awesome, Alicia. How are you? Boy, I'm, I'm so good. excited, so fired up. It's a beautiful day here in San Francisco, near to San Francisco. I live in Danville, uh, Blackhawk, and uh, it's a little chilly. You can see. <laughs> No, no, I said, well, it's not chilly here. I'm in San Antonio and it's like 65 degrees and oh my gosh, raining though, and lots of fog. Anything, lots of fog this morning. I think 44 degrees as well. <laughs> yeah, no, it's nice. It's nice here. It's raining though. It's it's raining oh. and it's cloudy, and, um, but it's so warm. You know, I went in very foggy. I went to school this morning. I was actually a little nervous driving my daughter to school because I couldn't see the road, I couldn't see beyond my headlights. Oh, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. It's been like that for the last couple of days here. So it's been a little bit crazy with the weather and lots of storms, you know, you know, way Texas goes, the weather changes every five seconds. It does, doesn't it? I know we are heading out to Florida uh, Monday, Oh, nice. seven days there. So I know, I hope the weather is going to be good. My wife is coming. Monica is coming. Oh, nice. Got the whole family. Yeah, the whole family. We have some big convention over there with the multifamily. Yeah, that's right. You're speaking, right? That's right. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Be so good. today, Vinny, I want to talk to you about something that I think that is so important because, um, and that's really about uh, basically your natural skill set. Everybody's good at something, right? Naturally. At least I like to believe that everybody's good at something. Um, but, and, but I really want to talk about honing your, you know, honing your natural skill set and using it to leverage to, to kind of get yourself to the next, you know, the next level in either your business or your life. So um, what does, uh, you know, what are your, first I want to know what your natural skill sets are and um, how do you leverage them? Because you're so successful. So how do you leverage your natural skill set to success? Sure. Alicia, that's very, very important subject, what you're talking about. Honing your skills is so important. I remember reading a story. uh, I think it was in Stephen Covey's book where there are two woodcutters. They are in the jungle and they're cutting trees. And there is one person who is just, you know, with the saw, cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting all day long. But there was another person who was able to take some time out and sharpen the saw. So in between certain period of time, he was sharpening it. And then at the end of the day, he was able to cut a lot more trees just because he sharpened his saw. And that's how also is in our life. Mm -hmm. You know, we could just keep on doing what we are doing. We could use our skill sets, what we have or we don't have, and then we can accomplish X amount of results. So in my thinking, I believe you can sharpen, you can hone in your skills that God has given us, or we have learned it, right? Some Mm -hmm. of the things are developed over time, like communication skills, for example, huge, Huge. Yes. I mean, this whole world is built on communications. Unless we are able to kind of, you know, communicate our ideas to everybody, family, friends, uh, children, I mean, you know, business leaders in the community, everything like that. Communication is so important. You know, ability to work with others. That's a very big skill. That is or, a big skill. Or work under pressure. That's even that's like, that's even bigger, I think. It's even bigger, don't you think? You know? Yeah. So those things. And then of course the other skill which I think I do really good, thank you, God, is time management. I really manage my time and I can accomplish so much. I really have in my mind that you don't need a month to do everything that we do. We could do that in two weeks or two weeks work. We can do it in one week and one week's work. We can do in two or three days. I've always lived my life like that. So that way, just having that desire that you don't need that much to get these things accomplished. 
That's some skill I, you know, compartmentalize is the other skill that I talk about. What is that? Compartmentalizing is just like in a drawer, Alicia. Mm-hmm. So I can take some kind of things, put it in a drawer, do it for one hour and drop it and then get to the next task, do okay. that and then drop it in the drop. So I can do several things. A lot of other business leaders are very you know, easy to do those things like I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Uh, But self-motivation is the other skill, see? You know, I think if you're self-motivated and excited and Mm -hmm. enthusiastic. You are always excited, always smiling. (laughs) I can't keep up. I've just become that way. I think, you know, I was not like that. But I think the books I read, the mind, you know, the mind just does wonders. Uh, When you're listening to positive thoughts and listening to ideas, how you could get better in life, you can accomplish more, then subconscious says, hey, stupid, do that. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Right. You know, or subconscious says some things and then conscious says, okay, I will do it. And once we see doing that, it reinforces us. No, I I completely agree. Now, if I was somebody who was lacking the ability to know what my natural skill set was, how would you help me find it? That's a good question. Good question. Not Alicia. everybody knows that. Like, nobody, yeah, people that's, don't even realize their strengths. You know, that is so very true. I think it all boils down to introspectively looking into and writing down, you know, I mean, you can, you can even ask your very close family members, hey, what are the skills you think I come across really nicely? Mm-hmm. And what are a few things that I'm kind of lacking in? All right. Yeah. Be open-minded, right? you got to say you wouldn't hurt my feelings. It's a constructive, you know, uh, uh, introspectively, I want to talk about and listen, and I want to do, you know. Don't ask the question you don't want to know the answer to. Sometimes, many times, actually, to be truthfully say, what are you talking about? <laughs> Dad, you are even worse. <laughs> Do that, you know. Remember, we always look for the faults in others. That's human nature. But the big thing is to really see the strength in others and make it even better for them and say, hey, I liked what you did here. And guess what? They might even say, I'm not that good at it. But <laughs> Because we noticed it and something that might reinforce even more and more and more. It's very common in children. See, yeah. children might just in doing something, but if you want a positive impact in their life, you want to say, hey, you are doing that good. Maybe they just did it in a very little way, very little yeah. way, but that will accentuate, you know? No, I do that all the time with my daughter. She's only yeah. five, so... But I always have to tell her, like, you know, you did that so good. You're a really yep. good singer. You're a really good dancer. Even though I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> you know, but I want to give her strength and I want her to hone her natural skill set. Yeah. She's really good with her voice and really good at her dancing, which I don't understand because I'm a very good dancer, but she's yeah. only five, but she definitely, she gets all into it. And I'm like, oh, you did so good. You danced like a ballerina. <laughs> Better and better and better because yeah. you're giving her self-esteem. Yes. You're giving her self-confidence. And that is so important because we are so easy. We, we are very, a human nature is we cut down and we might just say the words, but the effect of those words is so ingrained in their mind. And that's what we need to talk about. You know, many times we talk things and we say, and we just say that we said it, right? But Mm -hmm. the people who catch it and who we say that to, they take it a bigger, deeper meaning. And that's where it degrades them or it, it, you know, gets them better, right? You know? That actually just kind of, you're bringing me right into my next question. So I love interviewing you because you kind of just, you're you're always giving me exactly bringing me right into the next question without even knowing what my questions are. Um, So once I know what my skill set is, so like for me personally, mine would be able to put my head down and when I'm up against the wall, you know, under the pressure, I'm good. Um, And so, you know, how, how would I, how would you, you know, tell somebody to leverage once they know what their skill sets are, their natural skill sets, the ones that they can use to, you know, how would you, uh, how would you tell them to use that to get a leg up, you know, or I guess that's the leg up on, uh, you know, where they want to be in life. 
That's a good point. I mean, you know, again, it all depends what your career is at, right? Uh, What's your uh, main skill that's bringing you most of the dollars or money? That's how it is in life, right? We go to school, but we are learning English, math, this and that and all that. That doesn't help us much, you know, when we come out of school, like we always say. But if you have the entrepreneur mind, okay, now you are putting the skills of leadership and uh, understanding what field you are in and who you are serving, Mm -hmm. right? In every business, in our career, if we put that in our perspective, who are our clients, who are our prospects, because it's only serving them, we'll realize if we help to solve their problems, right? We call them, mm-hmm. solve their situations, problems. So product, let's say if you're selling a product, mm-hmm. we are fulfilling their need to get that product. It could be machine, it could be, you know, instrument for the house or whatever it is, right? Or <laughs> skill set or training, things like that, Alicia. So I think as a person, we definitely need to sit down and look at our skill set, Soft skills and hard skills, right? Mm-hmm. Soft skills are enthusiasm, communication. Uh, you know, uh, you know, putting our integrity on the line. You know, and all those things are soft. Hard skills are what we learn from the trade. From okay. other people can teach us, right? So that's where we should be looking at what the skill sets I. Own, I have a good solid foundation of hard work, of enthusiasm or positive attitude. If not, we need to read some books and listen to some things to change our, because the boss will work with you. You will progress in life a lot bigger and better if you are honing in on those skills mm-hmm. of the soft skills, which are very, very necessary, by the way. I mean, you know, decision making, communication, ability to work under pressure with people and not really having ego. Oh my gosh, that's a huge one. That's a huge one. I mean, we learn, we actually uh, lose so much in our life by having that ego, you know, as a boss or could be as a father. Ego or, or Yeah, exactly. I want to do a whole podcast on that. I, I know. That next month. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. I mean, we can be lifted so high. We can accomplish so much if we just drop that ego before yeah. we get into um, a, a situation or into office or into a meeting with the prospect, I call it, right? You know, so that's so true. We are, when we are meeting with our business partners or with the people that we are serving, we are totally engrossed in their side. We need to be looking at how can we support them, help them, make them who they want to become, right? Mm-hmm. You know, and give them the service. No, I, I, I agree. I actually, I have heard something or read something that if you stood in a superhero pose for 10 seconds before you go into a meeting or, you know, before you go in for an interview or whatever it may be, that it actually changes your mindset. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually true, but I've heard it. <laughs> I mean, it's the posture. No, you're yeah. right. I mean, you know, it's how good feelings. I really believe. I used to say automobile university. I yeah. always call because we were in sales in okay. my consultants. We were driving quite a lot, Alicia. So by listening positive thoughts and preparing the presentation, because manifestation happens once we first think. And Mm -hmm. everything happens twice. I have always said that to me. I've read it many times. What do you mean mean by that? Yeah, let me share. Everything, always we, our mind thinks it and then we act. So everything happens twice, I say, because you have to really decide what you want to accomplish. Once your strong thoughts are there, then your habits, your success habits will make it happen for you. So everything happens physically when it Mm -hmm. happens, but mentally it happens before it happens physically. So if we keep that in balance, that negative things will have negative effects, you know, positive things will manifest into positive results. That's how it is. So everything happens to it. If you can 
think about anything, you can achieve it, right? You know, yeah. I mean, then Norma Peel, I mean, Og Mandino, I mean, we can go back to Zig Ziglar, we can go back to Jim Rohn, all of them, right? So the biggest thing is, if we just keep ourselves aligned mm-hmm. and make sure that we are using the skills we have to the best and those which are not that good, like being late, Let's just decide about that. Okay. Being late, coming to a meeting, not respecting other people's time. That's, that's a, a horrible habit. habit. I hate that, right? Mm-hmm. But that's a skill that one can really get better at. And they need to just say, why I'm doing that? Maybe I need to prepare a little quicker, leave the office a little early or home to get to the place a little five minutes early, you know, things like that. So actually, I, you just brought up something I want to jump this in here. What is the difference between having a natural skill set and uh, and then your habits? Okay, good point. See, the thing is skill sets are your habits too, because skill sets are, uh, you know, like I said, to have decision making that you are doing based on your foundation of the trust, integrity, truthfulness and all that, right? Those are the hard set skills and you become that person. See, you become that person, then it, you never have to think about it. You yeah. know, you're acting that way and everybody knows then. And those tremendous skills that you portray brings you as a leader out in the eyes of people. It's what we do, our habits really become our Trademark, let's just say that, because people saw that Vinnie is going to be always punctual mm-hmm. or Vinnie is going to be really uh, smiling whenever I'm smiling. Meeting. Yeah, <laughs> you know, or enthusiasm is going to be talking with his hands and the, all that, you know, and eyes and all that. So those habits, which I'm really, I'm not, I'm not doing it for faking it. Yeah. I'm just like that person. So yeah. other people then expect you. Right that way. And the other part is some of the skills which are really, really bad, I used to have, I had to work on them. Prioritizing, for example, or saying no to somebody. It's mm-hmm. still a skill I'm very bad at. I mean, I want to do this and this and this. And, you know, if somebody calls me, or my friend calls me, says, let's go out for something. I might just finish things or put it in a different compartment and I'll say, okay, let's go. I mean, not all the time, but like that. So the big thing is you got to see your inner strengths and weaknesses, you know, your skills, what you have and what you want to get better at. Because I really believe one can get better at if we know what that will do to us, right? If we can increase our income twice or three times this year, 2020, what will it take? What yeah. skill set will it take that I can, you know, get job done better? Maybe even leave the job I'm at, but get into a passionate, something that I really want to do. No, I like it. No, it definitely makes sense. Um, and so I guess my, one of my last questions I have is, you know, how would you show me or approach somebody um, that was not using their, their natural skill set to leverage to, you know, get what they want in life? What would be your advice to me? That's a good point. You know, I mean, uh, it's pretty a short session that we record, but it all really boils down to, I think, in my mind, every problem, every situation has some beginning, you know, I believe that I say, you know, how it came out to the point where it is. And for us to just take time out to ourselves. And I really love the Ben Franklin close. It's in, you know, a term you might have heard it too. Alicia, you draw a line, take a blank sheet of paper, a pen and yourself uninterrupted, you draw a line in the middle going from top to bottom, then you put the positives on the left side and negatives on the right side. Mm-hmm. And you keep on writing. You don't, don't hold anything against it, but keep on writing the real situation. Mm-hmm. And then you say, okay, I know these are the positives. If I do that behavior or make that decision, because we come 
on the whys every time, every moment in our life, we are coming to a why, why section where one side is the right answer, other side is the wrong answer. But mm -hmm. it's going to the right as many times as we can leads us to our fulfilling life, to happiness, to bliss, to whatever we can say, right? And feel good about the business when it increases. We need to look at it, okay, what we accomplished in 2019 or 18 or 17, what, am I happy? Am I where I am? If not, unless I change a few things, skill set or my attitude or my habits, it's not going to be different, you know, yeah. it's going to stay the same. Huh? So you have to make a little bit of changes um, yeah. to fix it. So that also brings me to my last question. This is everybody knows I always like Vinny's nuggets of advice <laughs> on, <laughs> on each subject that we talk about, because, you know, obviously this is the motivation power talk uh, podcast. And so what is your nugget of advice for somebody who needs to hone in the, their natural skill set? to leverage them into what they actually want to accomplish in, let's say, 2020? You know, I would say if we can just, everybody listening to me and watching me, think about happiness. Think okay. about, are you happy at this moment? If that not, a why not? Question. <laughs> really? I mean, why not, right? And that's a very powerful question. Very, very deep question I'm asking everybody. If you are not happy right now, my thinking is I won't be happy tomorrow. Even if I get worldly possessions and everything, I make more money or whatever. It's not more money, more problems. It's more problems, exactly. More money, more problems, more things. So the big thing is to just say, I want to be happy. I want to enjoy my life. I want to live as a whole person. Mm -hmm. so that's how I look at myself. You know, I'm a lot of, you know, business leaders, yourself who is listening and watching me, you are that person probably too. The key thing is once we decide our internally motivation and we are purpose driven life to become happy. And, you know, I'm not saying I'm happy all the time. No, but constantly, the more happier you are, the better life you will, and better decisions as a leader you will make, the more positive energy you will spare all around you, people will start liking you more, you know, all those good things, right? So let's live as a whole person. And that whole person, there are skills that we already have. And there are some skills we want to get. And there are skills we don't want to get. Yeah. <laughs> So let's just work each day or each week or each month or whatever, you know, to mm -hmm. decide I'm going to have these two things, which will give me so drastic result. Why not I take time to learn that skill and implement it and make a part of me? Love it. Love it. <laughs> All right, guys, you just got your weekly motivation power talk with Mr. Smiles. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Definitely share us. If you guys have any questions, please put them below. Um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can tune in every week when we give you the weekly motivation power talk with Mr. Smiles. Um, also, guys, if you're interested in the syndication business or investing, you can text LEARN to 474747. Or you can, you can text INVEST2020 to 474747. Uh, Mr. Smiles, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Alicia. Look forward to seeing you next week and right. have a great day. And let's just have a beautiful uh, week, you know, and uh, enjoy. And we'll see you next week. All right, guys. Till next thank time. Bye-bye. You will be amazed at the insights Vinny will share each week. He will share his experiences. He has taken $7 to over $220 million portfolio in commercial real estate. To reach Mr. Smiles, text the word syndication to 474747 or go to his website, vinnychopra.com.